this is Paul Savetto of Windows Phone Central. And this is Jeff Green, the Director of Editorial and Social Media at PopCap Games. What are we looking at today? Uh, today we're looking at Bejeweled Live. This is a brand new uh, version of Bejeweled available now uh, for Windows 8. Um, it's, it's available at the Windows Store for download. Um, and basically what we're looking at is, uh, it's kind of the mobile version of, of Bejeweled 3, which is the very latest version of Bejeweled. Um, the game comes with three modes. There's the classic mode, which is, is the Bejeweled, the, the match three game that everybody has known and loved for forever, um, with higher res graphics and more effects than older versions. And two modes that we introduced specifically for Bejeweled 3, which are Diamond Mine and Butterflies, which both play in completely different ways from the original. Hey, do you want to show us each of the modes real quick? Yeah, so uh, I'll show you classic mode first. It's, it's the one everybody knows. Um, and, you know, it is your standard match three. Uh, I assume I don't have to really explain it to probably most people watching, listening. You're, you're trying to uh, get three, three or more colors in a row to get, whoops, to get... Uh, uh, to help uh, accumulate points and get the, the, uh, the jewels to cascade down. You're trying to get combos for even higher scores. Uh, you can do a hint if you're stuck, like I was just there. Um, more combinations leads to uh, uh, more high power gems, which will lead to bigger scores. So that's essentially uh, classic mode. Uh, it's untimed. Uh, so you can uh, just play until basically the game is over. Uh, Diamond Mine and Butterflies, these are two modes that we created specifically for Bejeweled uh, 3 and now Bejeweled Live on uh, Windows 8 here. Um, and I can tell you that these are two of the most popular modes at PopCap itself. Um, when we were doing all the beta testing, these were the ones that we fell in love with right away. Uh, now this is a timed game, so you start with a minute and a half. What you're, what you're doing is you're matching three. Uh, the, the bigger sort of uh, goal of what you're doing beyond the matching is you're trying to dig down into the earth here. This is a mine shaft. This is gold here. There's uh, more treasures as you keep digging. Uh, you have a minute and a half basically to clear this white line. When you clear it, you're going to get more time on the, on the clock. And this will keep going forever until you run out of time. And your progress is measured by uh, feet, how many feet below, uh, below the ground you have gone. Uh, we'll see if I can actually get even past the first one. Um, this here is a uh, hypercube. This will clear any gem of the same color that you touch. So I hit a red gem, cleared every red gem on the board. Um, I'm seriously running out of time. You can see I'm digging lower. With every match, the ground around it uh, will <coughs> give way and uh, take you lower. So I'm getting there. I need to clear these two spots to not have the game over. There's one, two. All right, so I've cleared that. I've now gone 20 feet below the ground, and I have 49 seconds and counting to get to this next white line. Now, this will go a long way down. I'm at 20 feet down. Uh, I think the furthest I've ever gotten is about uh, 600 feet down, and I know it goes way deeper than that. Um, so it just just kind of the digging and exploring and finding the treasures um, has its, has its own appeal. I think that's why it was so popular at, uh, within uh, the PopCap offices itself. Um, and uh, uh, I think uh, also there's a whole different strategy at play here. You have to, you know, you're, you need to work horizontally uh, to get all of these pieces. The, the end pieces, like this one, tend to be the hardest to get. I'm about to lose here, but that's only because I'm talking. <laughs> In real life, I would play better. So that's that would be game over here. Um, really super fun mode. Um, at the end, it, see, it shows you, you know, what you what your treasures were, how far you you dug. Um, and of course there's leaderboards against your friends. Uh, and the final mode in this version of the field is butterflies. And this one, 
it's kind of deceptive because butterflies sort of makes you think it's going to be uh, kind of light. It's, it's sort of a the fanciful name makes you think maybe it's going to be easy, but in fact it's deceptively difficult. And the, the deal here is that there are instead of gems, there are particular colored butterflies. You have to basically match three with the butterflies to uh, to uh, to clear them. Every time that you don't clear one, every time you make a move and you don't clear a butterfly, it rises higher. When it gets to the top, if the spider is in the row that the butterfly is in, it's immediate game over. So I've basically got two more moves here to get the orange butterfly uh, before he gets eaten by the spider and the game would end. I happen to get him, but now I've got this one waiting for me here. So And the number of butterflies that are on the board will increase as the game goes on. So it gets pretty... Uh, frenetic. Um, it gets pretty hard to manage. Um, you know, like this guy. If I make a match below, it's going to lower the yellow butterfly. So that that will give me more time. Um, so this is actually a, a deceptively difficult mode. Um, and again, one that uh, is extremely popular at our offices because it's so hard. Um, and yeah, the spider basically the bane of uh, the bane of all bejeweled players' existence. That is a uh, that's kind of the three modes in a nutshell that are available in this version.